Welcome to part 35 of Adobe Illustrator Zero to Hero Complete Course. In this video, we will learn about blending moods in Adobe Illustrator. When you apply a blending mood to an object, the effect of the blending mood is seen on any object that lie beneath the object's layer or group. Select the object first you would like to change the blending mood of by using the selection tool. If your objects do not overlap, you may not notice much change. I would recommend selecting two overlapping objects to understand the properties of blending modes better. The color of the top object is called blend color and the underlying color is called base color. With shape selected, click the opacity option in the properties panel on the right to open the transparency panel. Click normal to open the blending mode menu. You can choose from a wide range of blending modes. If you can't find the transparency panel in properties then go to window menu and choose transparency or use the keyboard shortcut shift plus ctrl plus f10. The transparency panel will appear. Here you can change blending modes according to your choice. Adobe Illustrator gives you access to 16 blending modes. Be sure to experiment with various modes to realize their full effects. Learning what effects blending modes produce will help you to expand your design thinking and strategies. You can apply any blending mode to the upper object and the effect for the lower object will be changed. They are grouped in the menu according to their function. Normal, Darken, Lighten, Contrast, Inversion and Component. Each of these modes works a little differently so it's important to know which one to use for which effect. Be careful when using blending modes as they can cause unexpected results. If you are not sure what a blending mode does, it is best to avoid using it. Normal is the default mode and does not apply any interaction between the colors of artwork. Since normal is the default, you don't need to change the blending mode in order to use it. The darker mode compares the two colors as the name implies it results in darker colors. Its other categories include multiply and color burn. Lighten is the opposite of the darken blending mode group. It results in brighter colors. It has screen and color dodge as its subcategories. Let's see one by one these modes. Normal is the default blending mode in Illustrator, produces no change in the appearance of your object. But when you apply the darken mode, the overlapping area will become darker. Darken mode chooses the base or blend color depending on the level of darkness. Multiply mode multiplies the blend color with the base color, resulting in a darker shade. Similar to the darken and multiply mode, color burn also darkens the overlapping areas. It darkens the base color to reflect the blend color. Lighten chooses a color based on lightness of the color. It chooses the light color and replaces or lightens the overlapping area that is darker than the blend color. Screen results in a lighter color by increasing the inverse of the blend and base colors. Color dodge produces a lighter color by increasing the brightness of the base color based on the blend color. Overlay mode multiplies or screens the color depending on the base color. However, it keeps the highlights and shadows of the base color intact and mixes the blend color to reflect the lightness or darkness of the original color. Soft light works similar to decreasing opacity. Depending on the blend color, it darkens or lightens the overlapping area. The overlapping will get brighter if the blend color is light. Similarly, the overlapping area will be dark if the blend color is darker. Hard light is just the opposite of soft light mood. Depending on the blend color, hard light mood screens or amplifies the color. It creates a kind of harsh and stronger spotlight effect on the overlapping area. In difference mood, the brighter gets subtracted from either the blend or base color. When apply this mood, it inverts the brighter color. When you blend with white, the base color gets reversed but no change will be applied while blending with black. Exclusion produces a similar effect to the difference mode. What differentiates these two modes is that the exclusion mode has a lower contrast than the difference mode. When applying the hue blending mode, the resulting color is formed by considering the luminous and saturation of the base color and hue of the blend color. Unlike hue saturation mode, consider the luminous and hue of the base color and the saturation of the blend color to create the resulting color. Color mode generates the resulting color from the saturation and hue of the blend color and luminous of the base color. This mode is useful when working with monochrome artworks where you must retain the gray levels and tinting work. 
luminosity mode the resulting color is produced by the hue and the saturation of the base color and the luminous of the blend color it creates the opposite effect from the color mode beside blending objects you can also blend two images together in adobe illustrator for example i want to blend these two images together now i am going to place the below image on top of this image choose a blending mode for example if i choose color burn and this is the blend effect i got and this is what i can get by simply changing blending modes learning what effects blending modes produce will help you to expand your design thinking and strategies be sure to experiment with various modes to realize their full effects that's all in our part 35 of adobe illustrator zero to hero complete course and i hope you all have enjoyed it please subscribe if you want to master in adobe illustrator by the way if you have not seen our earlier videos please take a look this course is especially designed for those who are brand new to adobe illustrator it covers everything in full detail link is given in the description and first comment that's all for today see you in part 36